Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade Dagger playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 12.4, and this is episode 64. Uh, since the last episode, I've done a great deal of work. As you can see, I've done a lot of digging, and I made a lot of frames to wall up the sides. I've done some leveling of the ground, so it's all uniform and spiffy. And as you can see, there is a couple gore blocks nearby. And that is because, well, I just, just had a dog horde wander through here. And Cujo was bad, so I had to put him down. And his, some of his friends, too. But the rest of them, they all ran off just over that little hill right there and I guess that something over there makes it so that they get stuck so I heard them bitching and howling mo moaning and clawing and uh, I'm like okay well I'm gonna have to start recording an episode so I logged out and uh, got everything set up logged back into the game and apparently they disappear they despawn when you uh, exit and then reload which is fine by me since there really weren't a threat anymore anywho uh, yeah I went through and I dug down as you can see f four levels down and this is the ring that's gonna have the spikes and two levels of water in it now you may add those two elements up and get three you know one layer of spikes two layers of water and you'll probably be looking at this going silver blade why the hell is it four deep instead of three deep well my friends it is simple I want to put down a foundation in here so I'm going to be putting basically it'll look like this all the way across the floor here got it now you'll be wondering why all wood frames well wood is pretty damn cheap and uh... i've used a ton of it okay i got a hundred logs left right i had at one point i think it was four hundred and twenty something logs and i broke down well three hundred and twenty something logs into planks I've got several thousand wood planks out of it. I think uh, in one load I did uh, 3,200 planks in, in just one one conversion. Turned them all into wood frames. I got like 400 wood frames at one point, and that all went into these walls. Now what's going to happen? And this kind of helps out with the math a little bit if. Yeah, follow me here. Uh, all of these are going to be converted into reinforced concrete blocks. And the reason why I did it in wood frames, obviously, was because it's cheap and easy to do. It gets it all framed up. You get an idea of what it looks like. But when I take away all of the wood frames, I will know pretty darn closely, if not exactly, the number of reinforced concrete uh, rebar frames then I'm going to need to basically uh, rebuild all of this so uh, that way I can get a specific amount of resources and not fall short not get too many uh, kinda hit that numerical sweet spot you know so uh, for now we're just gonna fill all this in and this may take a bit. Now I have to be on guard. It's day 69. Uh, the dog horde has just went through. So within the next oh, 27 hours game time, we're most likely going to get the seventh day feral horde. And uh, so I kind of want to get at least this much laid in. 
before that happens. I don't believe I'm going to have it all done by the time the horde gets here. Even if I work during the night. And in the last couple game days I've been playing, I have been working at night. Cautiously, of course. Uh, I did have one instance where uh, a dog actually got up on the roof of my base with me still up there. Surprised the hell out of me. Because I thought I had blocked it off. Nope. <laughs> Cujo came up there and said, Hey, I want a biscuit. And apparently my ass looked like a biscuit. So, uh... He didn't get a bite on me. But he came damn close. I mean, I was... Just... Fuddling around trying to get, get the shotgun to come up. And, uh... I got him... Just in the nick of time, and I hear footsteps coming. Okay, maybe I'm hearing things. I sounds like maybe one zombie's out there, just kind of shambling about. It's always something. Yeah, I just heard it again. So there is somebody out there. Now, I did a ton of digging. I mean, I what I would do is uh, I would dig a trench, you know, a straight line. And the best way I do it, at least that I found to do it to keep it straight, keep it on the same level, is to crouch. I think I can do one quick demo here. Okay, so you start off. You dig your hole, and then you stand in it. You crouch down. Now see how you got a flat side, and then another flat side, and it comes to a point. There's like a seam here. Well, you aim your pointer at that seam. And I, I hold down the E key the whole time that I'm digging. So it just, boom, automatically puts it in my inventory. And, uh, yeah, I aim my, my pointer at that little crease or seam, hold down E, dig, move forward, dig, move forward, dig, move forward. Always keeping the mouse pointer in the same spot and, and just keep going at it. And I do that all the way around and uh, then for underneath the frames, you know, after this is all done here, I just, uh, Dig out, dig out, so it's dig, slide, dig, slide, dig, slide, it's repetitive, it's tedious, and but it gets the job done. So if you're wondering how I did, and I do it one la layer at a time, I don't dig down three layers, I back in Alpha 11 I would, but not in Alpha 12 because if you cause the blocks to drop, uh, you know they they end up dropping and then becoming um, you know more more dirt or debris or, or whatever the new uh, wasted me uh, material mechanic is called anyway. Like if you drop a wood frame, it becomes wood debris. I think. Uh, Fertile soil just becomes a diamond of dirt, and that's a hornet. Alright, I'm going to try to rush through this as quickly as I can, because I'm thinking we may just be getting a feral horde, like, now. Which is kind of, sh in short, uh, in a short time spent frame, after the dog hordes just come through. Which is kind of like insult to injury to me. And I want to get at least this side done. Because I hear them real close. And we're switching to shotgun. At present, I don't believe they know I'm here. That will soon change real quick. We 
get up here. Pull up the blocks. They don't try to climb back up here. And then we'll put a block here and here and here. And then got back up a little bit. Okay, this may just be a wandering horde. Because if it was a feral horde, they would be like, oh shit, they know I'm here now. <laughs> if I just play it cool, they'll leave me be. Run away. Do not fall in the trap. It is not ready for you. Let's go downstairs. Oh crap, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm hunted again. Damn it. Shit. Alright, you suck. <laughs> you too. Right in the junk. Ah. Game on, people. Probably don't need to worry while I'm in here, but yeah, it's the hornets I think are the only thing that can really get to me now. So with that being the case, let's get up there and oh, you gotta be shitting me! All right, let's go get ourselves a splint. That is bullarky. Alright, they're going to be beating the crap out of this thing. The dog, uh, uh, one of the dogs had done some damage to uh, one of the wood frame walls that I had put up. It wasn't anything significant. Alright, let's go down and put these little bastards out of their misery. Alright, where are you? There you are. Alright, back at ya. <laughs> Should have reloaded between engagements. Come on, you're reloaded. Should be. There you go. And where's the other dream mess? Thought I killed you. So far, it's all clear. I am hearing footsteps. Oh, it's one of you. Oh, you've got a bunch of crawling friends, huh? Well, we'll fix you. Really? Was I shooting that bad? Alright, reload. And let's cork them. Oh. Here comes Poochie. Damn. I'm finding it's a little harder to hit him with that stupid eyeball thing uh, on the reticle, but at the same end, I do like the reticle, just, or the eyeball reticle, because uh, you can tell with like the crossbow where you're aiming plus if you're not being seen you're doing double damage so the game says anyway alright is there any more grounders yep right there come on hornet 
Come on in, I want a little bit of honey. Okay. So far, so good. So hopefully that horde will be coming later in the day, which will give me some time to prepare. And I'm hearing another zombie somewhere. I'm hearing the breathing. It's really irritating when you can hear them, and you're not wide out in the open, but you just can't see them yet. It's like they're right outside the uh, view distance. All right, for the time being, we're we're good. So let's get back to business. Um. Let's see. I can't believe it sprained my leg off that stupid ladder. That blows. Anyway. All these wood frames will be replaced with rebar frames. So what will happen is I'll lay all these down. Pull out my... Uh, you know, get out of the hole. Pull out the... Uh, the ladder or the steps I put in and then I'm going to take I mean and then I'm going to take all the frames that are currently on put them away and then what I'll do after that is take up every single wood frame that's in this trench and when I'm uh, done doing that, I'll know it pretty much exactly, unless I drop a frame or something, I'll know pretty much exactly how many wood frames I'll need, or uh, rebar frames I'll need. And it'll also give me a number trench. for how much uh, concrete I'll need. I know I'm short on concrete, and then I can do it without a doubt. So, um, yeah, yeah, All right, I want to go and, and check see over here if real those quick. hags had damaged or destroyed any wood frames over here. Get rid of the slot. Oh. No big yeah, ones. Yeah, it looks like they tore one out. Naughty ladies. Avon will not be calling for you. <laughs> all right. So we got this all, all framed in. Let's climb out of here. Yeah, I can hear some more zombies out there. Can hear them, just cannot Creepy see them. bastards. Okay, so at the present moment of wood frames, the exact number of that uh, moat uh, <gasps> is in there. Fuck. What was that about? Yeah, that that's just getting irritating and dumb. Now, as you can see, I pulled that's uh, a lot of dirt. 
1,150 dirt. <laughs> bits. I have enough rebar right, frames. Do not okay, put uh, this <coughs> away. Excuse me. No, um. I'm gonna put all the wood frames in here. We will use the rebar frames to get to make a stepway out. Before, we're not gonna put them in, in the shovel. I don't think I'll be. Whoops. So let's get up there and st start y yanking. Um, well, back. First of all, let's kind of do a perimeter check. Yeah, I really don't see anything out there. we're good for now so I think that can quickly change all right <laughs> yeah I can hear him now so I guess the best way to do this would be to crouch down and just walk ahead and I'm not walking okay now I'm walking oh <laughs> oh well, it's just a torch. I got four more inside. Should have thought about that a little better. All right, there we go. So yeah, you see how? So I'm doing it now. All I'm doing is just picking up all the frames. Let me get that. Torch. Yeah. And the rest of this off camera. And I'll leave. do the. Re yeah, it's fun time. Where are you at? You, you shambling mess. There you are. Come to daddy. You were adopted. <laughs> okay, that horn is sounds like it's getting like wicked close. When you start hearing the the wing kind of beating in a, a more of a bass sound. That's kind of like the sound of them like right up on top of you. Or at least usually they're getting pretty close when you hear that low hum. Okay, now it's going to get really dark around here. anyway should be pretty quick job now you gotta be careful with doing this too because you In don't want to be dropping them I mean you will get the wood debris free and all but use them as counters the point of this is kind of use are kind of especially lacking my mass sorely lacking and I don't really want to sit here and count out squares and 
do all that. Get up there. Alright, come on. Put that frame back. Oh, no, I'm not. Screw that. Try and do this quickly and, like, without being ultra boring. Be somewhat precise. But also trying to be and not make a mistake. And, I mean, might be helpful. This is what I'm doing. If you f think this helpful to you, by all means, make use of this. So, I mean, when you play these games, expect to ha have to deal with a grind. But as grindy as it And this is about gets. Not making things any easier. <laughs> and that hornet is not. Oh, come on. Now the first wall Closest you want to put in to your base is the one called one this wall here that I'm picking build up. Build that one first. And the reason why you want is because um, this is the wall that's going to take the brunt of the damage uh, when zombies fall in here. Walls, the floor, the back Not wall. Not really all that much damage. But if you're in a pinch like I am right now, they're coming, and, uh, you know, um, sure as there's day and night, they're coming. Uh, first thing you want to oh. do is get that that inner wall done. Yeah. And I'll keep them from digging through the, through the dirt and making a mess of that. So it's just like going on a race car uh, track through here. hell. Yeah, I know. It's almost morning, though. And really, I thought that uh, the Hornet was a sign of more. a uh, bird. They usually come in the group, but there's been really no ferals, no police, things wandering horde so I'm with a this uh, is just a one zombie escort <laughs> and I am gonna have to boogie a little faster here we're almost at the end of the episode like yeah we're Probably gonna finish off this floor, floor anyway. And then uh, we'll call it uh, an episode. And I'll, when we come I hope back, to have at least part of this uh, flushed out with uh, reinforced concrete. Okay, I'm definitely hearing. What sounds like a police they make that kind of really goofy sound. So, so let's uh, to where All my ass. steps are. 
I'm believing it's on the other side. Right. No, nope, right here. All right. We'll do it like this, I guess. Well, actually, we can get hu hugged up to the wall, center it up, hold down the right mouse, and hop. Center it up, hold down the right mouse, and hop. Come on. Or not. Alright, so that one box hop thing just doesn't always work for me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it throws me off the thing, and I'm screwed, you know? So let's see what we got going out here. I know I heard that, that sound of... You know, it could be over on the other side of that mountain. It drops off really back. sharply, and it's easy to get stuck back there. I would know. I've been and stuck also, back I heard there zombies trying to come up over the mountain, uh, so, but weren't able to, so they just start getting pissed off and start digging. So, that might be a thing. Anywho. Any Alright, well, sorry. I guess that's it for this episode. It wasn't as uh, psycho crazy as it could have been, but it will be. <laughs> I, I hope you uh, got right a few now, useful tips out of this. 409 uh, frames have been taken out. And still uh, a I hope bunch you'll more join me for the next episode. Um, I'll have all this stripped out by next episode, so you won't have to see any more of that. But uh, uh, we will be making some rebar frames and and trying to get this all in and and mucked up, all framed in, uh, and get it prepared. Concrete. I don't think we'll make it in time and for. The the, uh, who knows? It might horde. not even come. This game has gotten so unpredictable with that. If you like this video, I don't know what to please tell Please click you. the like button. So, if you didn't like this video, click go ahead and click the dislike and button. Polite, but at least uh, give me a comment, comment as to why you didn't like this video. If you're bored, click the dislike, then the like buttons. They'll cancel each other out. And it's something to do. Do. Making nice splat, noises. splat, <laughs> something. Uh, tell your friends, family, share my videos up on whatever social media you use, uh, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. Um, you know, I would definitely appreciate the uh, the vote of confidence and recommendation, or in other words, free advertising. <laughs> I would definitely appreciate that. Uh, subscribe so you can keep up with my videos. Um, Today is the 3rd of August, so uh, days, and two Imperion will, will drop, and I will be making one video making video of Some Days to Die, and, uh, and one those video up, uh, hopefully every day, and uh, so if you subscribe, you can kind of keep up with that. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, until next time, later. Twitch, Twitch.